Woo! This happened. I don't even know how I remember this, but I'm gonna tell you how I remember it because the girl did knock me out. She beat me up. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl and you already know. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here. And before you do anything else, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any of these videos. Y'all, today is another story time. All right, so this story it's very dear to my heart, all right? It's very dear to my family's heart because they never make me forget it. Aw, woo! This happened, I don't even know how I remember this, but I'm gonna tell you how I remember it because the girl did knock me out. She beat me up. <laughs> so that's how I remember it. I was literally in kindergarten. I was in, how, what grade was I in? Because my family loves to say that she was in kindergarten and she beat me up, but I remember she was older than me. I would think I was in kindergarten and she was in second grade, one of those. So my cousin, he's so extra. He knew my personality, like was like, especially this is pre-Jesus Jasmine, all right? Young Jasmine, oh, I'm like, I got there, anybody fight, I don't care, I don't care, ah, I fight you, ha, 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 ha. everybody getting these hands. Like, sit down, you sit down, you're doing a lot. You can't even color all the way correctly. And my cousin came to the door, our, my mom's apartment, and I'm like cleaning with my sister. We have like music on. Y'all, like, let me paint the picture for y'all. I thought I was something because I remember cleaning this apartment thinking I was so cute. I had this like clip and my hair like twisted like this. Y'all know how we used to do with the clip and then you had the little extra excess coming down. I had like some shorts on this top. I'm sleeping, we listening to J-Lo, I love J-Lo. So we're like listening to music, just sweeping. And then my cousin comes in, he's like, Jasmine, Jasmine. Man, some girl at the playground, she said, you black like charcoal. I was like, what? She said, what, say it again? He's like, she said you black like charcoal, like you crunchy black. I was like, crunchy? Uh-uh, let's go. One. <sighs> Who is the girl? I didn't ask any questions. Who is the girl? Has she ever seen me? Where was I going? I said, let's go. Where was I going? So I'm like, let's go. My sister, she, listen, my sister's down for whatever. We are down, family, my siblings, we down for whatever. What you do, I'm with you. So my sister doesn't really ask questions. She just follows my crazy. So I drop the broom, I'm like, let's go. Uh, the whole way, my cousin's like, yeah, yeah. Like getting me all pumped up. I'm like, don't nobody talk about me. She calling me crunchy black. She don't know who I am. Like, I'm six, what are you doing? So then I get to the playground. This girl is sitting on the curb, y'all, minding her business, like minding her whole business. She's sitting like this. I'll walk up. Hey, she looks up like, hi. I says, so my cousin said that you wanted to fight me and you call me crunchy black. She was like, I don't even know you. No, nah, you know me. You know me. <laughs> no, nah, you know me. You know you know who I am. I don't I don't know you. So then I'm like, no, nah, you know who I am. My cousin don't lie to me. And I take my hand and I muff her head. I'm like, mm, you know me. You know me. Y'all, that's what made her mad. So she gets up, she's like, no, nah, let's fight. So we we, when I'm looking back, we thought we were really fighting, but we were really fighting like kids, squeezing each other's shoulders. We're like grabbing each other's hair, one side here, her here. I'm like, ah, ah, all right. So she broke my mom's clip in my hair. So I'm like, I turn back, I'm kind of like, and then I think I, that's what I did. I pushed her. After she like pulled my hair, I pulled her hair and the clip broke, I pushed her. She kind of fell on the ground. So I'm like, mm, show. I ain't crunchy black. <laughs> so then I turn and I look at my cousin and my sister, my brother, his friends, they're all there. Everybody like from the apartments is there. So I turn around, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Y'all, I think she was a ninja. 
Like she had to be a ninja. She had to be a ninja or she like is a magician, a magician. Because the way that I turned around, I was here one moment, my head. And then when I came this way, I remember her being on the floor, pushed her, she's flat out. But when I came around her fists and all she said was, get out of my face. And <laughs> I remember it being in slow motion, y'all. And my jaw connected with her fist and all you hear is, and my mouth was like, ooh. And then as soon as she hits me, I just ball out crying. I'm like, <laughs> Everybody's laughing at me. She's like, I don't even know her. So now the sweet girl that was like, I don't even know you. Now she's like, I don't even know her, but she made me mad. <sighs> Why? Why? I don't know. So then, oh, there's a, I got a, I got a word for this. <laughs> so then after I look back at my cousin, I'm all crying. I'm like, oh. He's laughing, and this is what he says. I just I, I just made up a lie because I wanted to see a fight today. <laughs> I'm like, that's so funny. That's so funny. 20, 30 minutes go by. Everybody's kind of calmed down. It's super awkward for me, no one else. I'm the butt of all the jokes at this point. And I go, you know what? It's okay. Like, I needed that. My jaw was kind of hurt, and I needed that. <laughs> And you know that's when a kid is embarrassed. They try to like, no, nah, that's okay, cause that's what I, that's what I wanted anyways. You didn't want to be punching your face. Be quiet, sit down. So I'm like literally trying to adjust my jaw. But let me tell you the word that's in this jaw connect. Sometimes the enemy will have you fighting the wrong thing. Did you hear me? Sometimes the enemy will have you fighting the wrong thing. You think that the person who you were supposed to fight, that's the opposition in front of you. But really, the opposition was right there, my cousin. That was the enemy I was supposed to fight, but I'm fighting the wrong battle. Some of y'all are fighting the wrong battles right now. Some of y'all are in battles that you're not supposed to be fighting. You need to lay it down and assess and look, who is the enemy here? Where is the opposition really coming from? Because I think it's in front of me, but I actually... If I take time to look and assess the enemy and the opposition is actually behind me and it could be people close to you. It could be someone. It's a word. I don't. I don't know. Just be sure that you're fighting the wrong, the right thing, not the wrong thing. Don't fight the wrong thing. That's what I did. And I got knocked out. Some of y'all fighting the wrong thing and you exhausting your energy. There it is. The word came back. Some of y'all are fighting the wrong thing. Fighting the wrong thing and you're wasting your energy in the wrong thing. You're wasting your strength. You're wasting your power. You're wasting your body, your anointing. You're wasting the thing that God put inside of you. You are wasting it. And God is saying that you're fighting the wrong thing. You're fighting the wrong battle. Look around and assess. Fight the thing in front of you or behind you or beside you. But ask God to show you where is the opposition. Don't back down. You could be like me. You could have that snatch you up spirit, but have it about the right opposition. There you go. That's the word. I think, I think, I think it kind of came together. I see you. We see you. We see you. That's what the church say. We see you. I see you. I see you. I see what you was doing there. You getting the word too. You taking notes. Okay, sis. Okay, sis. Father God, thank you for these women. Lord, thank you for your joy. Thank you for your sense of humor. God, thank you just for how you love us. You love us in our crazy. You love us in our wretched, raggedy mess, <laughs> Lord. And I just ask that you would teach these women where their opposition is. Don't back down, but step up for the challenge, knowing that you are going before them to fight for them and be victorious for them, Father. Have them assess where that opposition is, where the enemy is, so they do not fall into the traps of him. We love you, Lord. We see what you're doing. We enjoy what you're doing. And above all else, we delight with what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. I will see you next Monday for another video.